Hello, ladies, gents, and weary travelers in search of peace. I have queued up the mega caravan. It's all uninstalled and stored. Pray for whatever Eldritch God's Rimworld has to make this go smoothly. Play! Please gather everything nicely, put it in elephants, and leave. Do not bork out. Don't do anything weird. I eh, probably shouldn't have added the Boomalo calves. I just basically added every animal. Probably didn't need to have everybody there. Yeah, okay, eat a meal. That seems like a reasonable thing to do in the middle of the caravan gathering, but it seems like they're actually putting things in the elephants. Regretfully, I am leaving behind all this delicious beer. Not all of it, but a good chunk. He has deteriorated away in story. That's all right. Um... Also neglected to deconstruct this, but it should have just simply been a couple uh, components. Probably I'm leaving like 10 components behind. All said and done, I did deconstruct the research benches. I didn't care about steel, didn't care about all this furniture. I only got the masterwork bed and the golden bed, and those are 50 pounds each. Probably not even worth carrying, honestly, but whatever. I'm just going to take what I can. Why is in damage? You see... Oh, he had food poisoning. I am amazed. I am just flabbergasted. This gathering of the people went as smoothly as it did. And now we have the long, long migration. Hopefully event free. All the way to this style that I have selected. The problem with the John Caravans, the frame rate tanks catastrophically. <laughs> it's just the way it goes in RimWorld. It is upsetting, but it's fine. We have 6.8 days of food, and that should tide us over all the way there. The trip estimator said that it's about five days there. What the hell just happened? Food poisoning. Oh, well, uh, we had apparently an incompetent cook to <laughs> prepare the meals ahead of time. Not the greatest thing. He packed some rotten bananas in there. Um, I believe he's Ray, hey. He had his cooldown is off, but of course he's in no shape to use them. We have left Gare behind. This guy is just going to start to death. <laughs> a wonderful parting gift. Maybe he can... Uh, ooh, there's a strange signal available, but we are in no shape. In no shape to... Uh, your comments all feel a psychic message echoing. It is a signal from an inhuman twisted mind. That was left behind somewhere far away. You can focus on the signal and echo it back. But I can tell what will happen if you do. That's new. That's new and exciting. There's a Manhunter pack, huh? Oh, but it's back in the... All right. It's just three bunnies here to... Here to eat gear. Wonder if they'll be able to get all the way in there. Absolutely not. Bunnies will not try to get into closed doors. But they're out there menacing. Ready to slaughter whoever comes to attack my beautiful colony. You know, it's always a bittersweet moment when I leave a colony that I've been working on for many, many, many hours. But I also really, really like it. I really like this place that I was just, you know, dropping the colony and going off to build another incredible compound of technological marvels. I uh, enjoy... The thing about RimWorld, the late game gets pretty grindy and uh, it's just not as exciting as the early and mid game. The mid game is where this game absolutely shines, I absolutely love it. The early game I like it too, but you know, it's kind of samey when you are just one, two colonies. The experience is always very similar, you just focus on the survival and all that stuff, it just kind of gets going. It's in the mid game that RimWorld really shines. Apparently, I have zero days of food. I think because the hay, yeah, the hay, I bet it all rotted. It will be in items. No, it's still carrying 1,500 piles of hay. Why is there zero days of food? Yeah, go to assign food policies. Did I forget to let people eat the package survivor meals that we package? No, no, they are they are there. And everybody's got the lavish food policy. Maybe they, oh, the no, I didn't carry prisoners. I didn't take any prisoners with me. So I don't know why it says zero days of food. Let's monitor, monitor, monitor the... Uh, what? Where would it be? Needs, right, right. 
food seems to be perfectly sated. Even the animals are doing okay. I have no idea. I have no idea why it's saying zero days of food. Hopefully this will not be a problem. Let's continue having this dialogue open. Medical emergency. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor Gare. He didn't even get to die of hunger. He's just gonna roast. <laughs> you poor bastard. The poor bastard. The indoors temperature is climbing and climbing and climbing. He's just going to starve while his brains get roasted. Maybe you can eat your own finger. It'll be deliciously cooked. Ah, poor. Poor Gare. He has a peg leg on. He should have been able to hop out of here. He's just weak. That's the problem. Okay, the rain actually put it out. <laughs> He's just really uncomfortably hot. How's the travel going? I considered... Oh, Gare has died. Oh, well. You know, it's a terrible loss, but we move on. I consider maybe attacking the Empire Enclave while we pass by, but why? Let's not mess with things like I already have a massive caravan going on here. Why complicate it any more than it actually is? Let's continue monitoring those needs because not everybody's food is fine. I have no idea why it says this is your days of food. It must be like one animal one creature, one person, something that doesn't have food. Maybe, ah, Major Stupid is starving because the meat expired. And he cannot eat anything but raw meat. Hopefully he'll be make it okay. You cannot even feed him. Can you feed... Uh, probably you can only feed him packaged survival meals if they are carnivore. And Raid is attacking our former, our former enclave. It makes sense. It's an abandoned place full of incredible riches. These dumbasses, though, they're not going to steal anything. They're just going to walk about, realize there's no one here. I'm burning down to the ground because they're freaking savages. Instead of maybe going into these walls taking advantage of this perfectly functional freezer, just making a new incredible life in this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of the most amazing technological marvel that they could have found. Oh, no, no. Let's just burn it down to the ground because we're idiots. They might not even make it <laughs> because they'll just... They just trigger the traps. This idiot is just going to die in 13 hours and then James will be too much of a pussy-ass bitch to stick around and take advantage of things. He's just going to break some shelves and then run away scared when Lau drops dead. What a what a pile of intelligent uh, individuals we have come across. All right, we're just having to sleep. <laughs> They're so stupid. They're so stupid. It drives me crazy. One component that I could have used. <coughs> All right, I really don't want to... They did set fire to my freezers. Of course they did. Instead of eating the meat, delicious, delicious meat that I have left behind. wonder how poor Major Stupid is doing. <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, give me a moment. Give me a moment. I need to interrupt this recording. All right, this cough that sometimes assaults me. Hopefully, after taking a cough drop and just drinking lots of water, it will stop bothering my ass. Let's continue watching the destruction of everything we built. It will be a hilarious obliteration of the desolation of the wicked or whatever the hell I called it. One of these days, I'll remember. There they are, fleeing because <laughs> the absolute buffoon is burning to death inside of my brewery. He wanted to get drunk. All he got was cooked. And now Lau is <laughs> roast little bitch. I can't believe you tried. To obliterate my place. Actually, this is not even very hot because it's outdoors. Oh, he broke this wall right there. But, I mean, he did burn to death. So, uh, he uh, gets what he freaking deserves. How's the trip going? I did consider maybe dropping some gifts to the pig people. I might be carrying stuff that is not necessary. Maybe drop some of my giant piles of wealth how about you offer gifts let's see what happens there 
Uh, because if you give enough stuff, people will love you. This is past, it is past. We could maybe give them the Boomalove calves. Major stupid, I really hope that you don't uh, you just now realize you're female. Only after, you know, 20 RimWorld years, I realized you are a female warg, not a male warg, like a major stupid would suggest. Um, is there a reason to give these morons gifts? I wonder what kind of... Plus 88? Seriously? If I just give them all my drugs, they will just like me? It would be nice to have an ally of pigs, a pile of pigs that are allied to me. I definitely don't need 400 die. How about you take 300 of my die? How much would you like me if, I, if you did that? Minus? Minus? I would like to minus. Okay, I think that's how it works. Oh, because, okay, okay. And positive numbers give gifts as opposed to the sales dialogue, which is the opposite. I don't need three kidneys and two lungs, you know. It is ten points. In wow, that's a lot of points each. But of course, this massive piles of wealth. You can also have... I mean, these are easily sellable items. I really should be giving away stuff that is not easily sellable. You can have some of my yayo, but not all of it. I want to have some money to trade. Here, have 50 yayo. We got plus 70 relations. If we reach neutral, we have these morons as allies. How much for one duster? There you go. Two duster, three duster. Oh, 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 oh. How about you get yourself maybe for a bedroll? We don't need all of these. Here you go. I have so much money. Minus eight. Can I maybe now trade? No, I cannot trade. They're still freaking... Oh, oh, pause, pause, pause. Offer gifts and attack still, huh? Uh, let's look at the b -b 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 factions. Mogwall, Rough Pick Union, minus eight. I think, that, I guess it needs to reach positive numbers. Uh, there's plenty more stuff that I don't really care for. How much for a boomalo calf? You can have my calf. Ah, that's too much. I don't need all these boomalobes. Come on. Uh, in fact, I am just getting rid of stuff I don't even want. You can have... Actually, I do want the raw human leather so we can build seats when we get to the place. You can have 25 ambrosia. That'll do it. Look at that. Anime new, now neutral. And we can, in fact, trade for some useful items. I am too smart. I'm too smart for this video game. Let me uh, put some thought into it and I'll tell you the results. All right, some pretty standard fare. The standouts are one plasma sword. I always hesitate about plasma swords. They set things on fire. They may become a problem when you do that, but they're just too damn fun to slice people and set them on fire. Come on, what's not to love? And also a little bit of meat so we can feed poor Major Stupid. Other than that, just sold a bunch of stuff, bought some useful things, maybe a couple. Uh, uh, we're going to need some drugs to set up the new colony. Hopefully no one will get addicted if you use it once. The chance does happen, but uh, it is unlikely using it once, getting addicted to it. And then another good standout is the bionic stomach. Still not finding those damn eyeballs. Pretty upsetting. Let's accept that trade and we carry on to our selected tile, hopefully. Yak beef has running away in storage. That is just the beef right here. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm ready to let go of this place. I am always fond of watching it fall apart when I leave a colony. But, um, you know, why? Why keep it here? Especially if I'm about to... Let's, I'm, I'll abandon it when I'm about to fund the new one. In the settings, I have set it up so I can have two colonies at once. Mostly a formality. Oh. Malaria? T-Rose, of course, gets malaria. She is the sickly member of our colony. She gets all the happy diseases. She'll be fine, though. She's a trooper. She's a tough lady. She'll get through the horrible, horrible malady. Ah, I am curious to see what a mountain mountainous yet river-strewn 
tile looks like. I don't think I've ever been in one of those. Wonder if you'll just bisect it or the river will run around the mountains or what? I love mountain mountainous maps. Yes, they are a lot easier to defend. What's available? Trade with Green Sea Brithe, a nearby settlement. Green Sea Brithe has a special trade request. They would like to purchase cloth. All right, well, how about the easiest? Freaking excellent mech commander helmet. That is just outrageous. If we can get a whole bunch of cloth, we can definitely get this done. All right, we're ready. We're ready to settle. Are you guys ready to abandon this wonderful, wonderful Connie? I wish that I had been able to grab my ideogram and, you know, T-Rose's throne. You actually can grab it. And But this is like 20,000 pounds. How much weight is this thing? Uh... Mass, 40 kilograms, eh, we could have grabbed it. It's all right. We'll build here a new, more impressive throne, throne where that one came from. Let's be homeless for a little while. Abandon. There really should be, there really should be a uh, dialogue confirming that you want to abandon that. <laughs> but we have abandoned it. It was full of waste. So now filth organization, even though they love the filth, for some reason they didn't love it enough for everything to get to get contaminated. Now the framer really tanks because when you have no colony and it's just a dot on the map, for some reason, Dream World does not like that at all. Uh, all right, let us settle. All right, let's take a look. I really expected far more. Okay, there's the giant mountain that we're going to dig into, hide forever. This looks like a fantastic place. We're going to wall off the world and never again communicate with it. And then uh, we'll build a ship somewhere. Man, it even has some fertile ground right there. This is just perfection. Absolutely beautiful. I would like to take advantage of the river with our water mills, you know, but it's a, it's a bit of a challenge. It's a bit of a challenge to reach to the middle of the map if I'm going to uh, get myself in here. Pretty cool tile overall. There's the ancient danger. Shall be opening that. Look at all this fertile ground. This is a, a great. I mean, it's, it's way, way far. But we may make a giant uh, plantation of low value things just to have that we don't care if it burns down, you know? All right. So, starting a new colony with an established group of people. It's a mess. It's a giant pain in the ass, and it's so much busy work. I think it's one of those times where I'm just going to do it. I'll show you the results, and I will start recording if something uncommon and weird happens. Uh, other than that, it's just so much busy work to get this going. I'll see you on the other side of that. The basic commands have been issued. We're going to build an indoors base right here with a wonderful grand entrance and all kinds of hallways sprawling all over the place. I anticipate this entire area will be built out with maybe walls up to here, maybe eventually, and then going real deep down this way, but not too deep. Or you might reach the edge of the wall, you might find a cave that leads straight to the edge of the map, and that is a bad time. Unfortunately, when this happens, you're going to get a whole bunch of idiots sleeping on the floor, because they don't haul all the beds all the way over here. I want the beds to be hauled first, and then I will install them in our, in our new shack. How exciting. Break soul. How about you take this wake up? Please don't get instantly addicted. I will be very upset. You don't have any kind of weird uh, staggering cannibal. Okay, you don't have any kind of weird chemical fascination. All right, now he is super duper mega w awake. I want all this junk to be properly hold. Wake up, Blargo. You can do it. Uh, <laughs> you have to go eat all the way over there. I guess I should just put a one on hauling for everybody. I hate to do this because then it means that um, everybody gets 
you know, it's, it's annoying to reassign the proper priorities to hauling, but it we really need all this stuff to be put indoors before it deteriorates and also so that we have all the, you know, all the sp sleeping rolls and all the beds where they belong. So let's just speed that forward. Watch that happen. It shouldn't take too damn long. Maybe take this human leather off the river. It's going to freaking rot. Priority number one, getting a kitchen in working order. The plans have been drawn. This shall be our giant mess hall slash entertainment center. There is a, a few uh, break risks. The <laughs> things are not going great. Things are not amazing right now in our new nameless place. But don't worry, things will start looking up soon enough. I was looking at the situation, I was like, uh, maybe there's not enough, it's going, not going to be enough food. We need to get this fungus uh, properly refrigerated, so that's what I figured should be our first order of business. I think this is enough places to sleep. Yeah, Eric, Erica Dawson is going to go berserk in no time flat. What is your problem? Oh, Brutal our Outdoors absolutely hates to have been outside for so long. Where even are you? Well, go eat. What are you, stupid? Uh, maybe we just ran out of, yeah, we ran out of package meals. Mmm, bit of a problem. We need to get that kitchen set up as soon as possible. I'll just tell her to just eat some raw fungus. Are you not converting? What do you mean dislike food? You can eat raw fungus. It's delicious. Just grab those mushrooms, put them in your face. Just consume it. It's okay. You're going to be all right. But this definitely uh, tells me, hey, uh, you need a source of meals right now. Maybe don't wait for the kitchen. Maybe just get yourself the most basic. That will be furniture, right? No. Production. No. Miscellaneous. No. Temperature. That's where you find the freaking campsite. There you go. Uh, although maybe I should just make a, a stove inside. That's probably the best. Instead of doing that, just make a stove. Production, right? Make a stove, a fuel stove. Is it dug out yet? No, we'll just put it right here in the middle of the rocks. <laughs> it's some fort. Ah, just put it in the indoor area. It's so filthy though. I hate that it's so filthy. Maybe we'll just put it here. There you go. And then zone... We're going to create, make sure that the elephants can no longer go in here. Now that it's all nicely hauled, we can get this area for now. For now, invert area one. We will rename, no, no, uh, rename it to no filth. But then I will also have to take out the furries, right? If you don't want any filth here. <laughs> Animals, no filth. No filth to be found here. All right, there you go. Oh my, these this break wrists are potentially colony breaking. So I really should take them seriously. Blargo, what are you doing? You're digging, huh? How about you go and work on this fuel stove, buffoon? There you go. Just get it done. And now we'll quickly add some bills. Basically cook the simplest of meals. And do it until you have... It's for now, it's just, just to have a few. I don't really care what you make them out of. We don't really have that much stuff. It's probably just going to be mushrooms. There's mushrooms and there's still probably some chicken meat on the floor. These barracks are a complete disgrace. Absolutely disgusting. We we'll definitely need a way to charge the mech, charge the mechs as well. 
Okay, finally we got some nice meals. All right, hopefully they will not be contaminated. Getting those roasted mushrooms, delicious stuff. Might as well make a torch lamp. Hey, we have now the possibility to make wall lamps. Incredible innovation. New patches out. There's going to be so much uh, quality of life. That's right, we did get this side trainer. Uh, oh, he's not the Psyker. The, the Psyker is... Ragman. There you are. Here's a side trainer. He's not go uh, high enough level, but you know, he'll, he'll make it event eventually. Don't worry about it. I have run out of room in this dumbass storage. Let me span that nonsense. There you go. Do we have... Kinda, we're getting there. Let me install now the batteries. All right, well, I have briefed you on the problems that we're facing. Let's uh, fast forward a little bit. Ah, yes, the wonderful slow progress of a new colony. Feels great. Hike is not having a great time. Hike, what is your problem? What is your problem? You are hungry. You, you have been out so long. You're half sweaty died. When sweaty died, that is a terrible thing, huh? That is just uh, traumatic. I see. Wish I could reassure you instead of having to uh, resort to maybe giving you drugs. We still had the geezer as our our resident heathen let's just try to convert him even though you know it's going to give him even more of a of a debuff if in damage going into the on a food bench i guess i just allowed him to do it who cares this is going to be our mech area hopefully it's enough space for all the mechs to get what they need we do need to you know quickly being able to recharge them pretty soon and uh what i certainly need is some kind of power production these batteries will not last forever i have no way of producing power right now so i was thinking maybe some making a giant chem fuel generator mm, power plant right here and there's going to be also a f there needs to be a freezer for the toxic waste probably will be a giant door uh, a giant uh, room down there so let's make an entrance right here we're going to make a nice room it's going to be five tiles wide and it's basically a giant power generation area we have the damn boomalopes let's take care of let's uh, uh, take advantage of them make sure that we generate a bajillion joules of power through the incredible power of their excretions power get that power conduit uh i guess we'll just throw a power conduit that goes all the way through the hallway eventually we will hide uh, this power conduit but for the time being it's going to be ugly as sin right in the middle of the damn of the damn colony right there is so ugly people do not like having those power conduits tantrum is going to destroy advanced component 21 <laughs> i'm sorry excuse me break soul you're about to get punched in the head <laughs> you will not destroy the like literally the most valuable thing that i have thankfully everybody i don't want hike to club him in the head though because uh he will probably lose the head so let's you know take it easy we can have a crack like i don't want him to get cut <laughs> bricks you're pre no you're you're just decent in melee so you're not going to do it like an insane amount of damage we definitely need to be careful though hike is too powerful for her own good let's have blargo not the plasma so banana can come over here who else is nearby nobody is really nearby fathead nerd is going to have to punch him a little bit crack like that may just you know 
just drop your deadly sword on the ground. And so for so the same thing for hike. There you are. And now we can just punch you in the head, Break Soul, because there is no way you're getting at that at those advanced components. You're just gonna have to be put down. You could arrest them, you know, that is a possibility you can do. But no, let's just punch him real good. And now uh, he no longer throwing a tantrum. Let's make sure that uh, Hike gets her mace back and Cracklock back. They gets the plasma sword. There you go. And Brixel, you brought this on yourself. You just got punched real good. And now you have catharsis. So, you know, everything works out. It's fine. Power shall be put into this nice places. We're going to have soon some more cooking to be done unfortunately the food is really running low i might have to go what okay he's, he's up he'll be fine he just got a little beat up not a big deal just go lay down sleep it off don't be a pussy and uh, bitch about it all right feeling pretty great so now this will be the mech area Let's make a storage area. This is going to be our living quarters. There will be a nice hallway going down this way. And there will be just all the houses will be right there. So probably have storage. We also need a hospital. Probably will be built somewhere around here. Mm. Storage and workshop need to happen. Let's have the mech area be all dug up. And then we'll schedule some more storage and all that good stuff. Eric Dawson is creating some extra simple meals. Good stuff, good stuff. We need that food. We're going to start with some shelves over there. It is all in the routines of creating a new, exciting colony. It's unfortunate. Oh, let me change... Storage, uh, no corpses here. Actually, no human-like, no animal. You can put the mechanoids here. And we'll put the corpses right there. Human-like and animal. There you are. But nothing rotten, though. Do not allow rotten. And here you can... Eh, whatever. All right. Keep that time going forward. These major breakeries are upsetting as hell. Man, Evan Damas has been pigging out. For the last 20 minutes. This absolute... There you are. <laughs> I, just, I just needed to shame him a little bit. He uh, went back to his senses. Psychic drone. Oh, this is what I needed. Just what I needed. Freaking psychic drone to make my brain explode. I might need to go hunt down some wildlife. Let's uh, hunt these bucks and does and the alpacas too. Hunt them, hunt them. We want some... So meat until we get some humans to eat. I suppose we're going to have to hunt the animals. Man, they're pretty far off, though. Uh, it's pretty freaking annoying. But it is what it is. You just got to deal with the privations of the new place. Let's create some mech re rechargers. All right, let me plan out this room because the, it's always such a pain plan the charging room so you are efficiently using the space we maybe something like this and you can actually do something like this food bitch on t rolls huh? that's all right plenty of food don't worry about it we're definitely not running out of food anytime soon right we're going to be just fine the food situation there all the charges are efficiently grouped Right next to the entrance. A party. <laughs> Meg is like, you know what we need? You know what we need, guys? Let's throw a party in the rubble and dump of this indoors area. Oh, what a great party it's going to be, Meg. You are a true uh, host. Tantrum of the geezer. Smash random furniture. You know what? Do what you, do what you will. Just smash whatever you like. Don't really care too much about you breaking a few power conduits and... Uh, walls, you're not that big of a problem if you just smash on things. Not a big deal, by the way. We should make this a home area. I was hoping for some kind of event, you know, some kind of something to cap off the episode. 
But the event was the giant move. It is a whole freaking ordeal to get uh, everything to get everything uh, put together. What a what a miserable party, man! Just everybody just huddle in the dark, surrounded by just garbage. Like, let me just uh, just gather around, have a grand old time. But, you know, it truly is what everybody needs because this is going to give everybody a, a nice mood boost. Uh, hike, maybe go over there and attend the party. Go over there, get yourself all partied up. Maybe flirt with one of your friends, start a relationship. I was <laughs> looking at this social, the social relationships. The geese there. I need to really watch you because you may break something important. Nah, you're just still attacking power conduits. I was looking at the social. It's like every, nobody likes Blargo. <laughs> it's, Blargo really, really disliked by most people. I mean, it's like half and half. For some reason, the slave loves him. Bruh. <laughs> Good to smash things inside her room. Uh, don't you smash... Don't smash something important. Like, if you smash things inside this room, uh, you may destroy something really good. Or you may make the camp fuel explode. She may need to be arrested. But I don't even have a, a freaking jail. Uh, this may devolve into terrible freaking uh, tantrums and uh, social breaks because of all the bad things that have happened. We really need some some human food. This is just awful. Absolutely awful. Very long outdoors. Th th those are things that will uh, solve themselves though, man. But I'm going to leave it here in this uh, state of despair. Maybe I shouldn't prioritize getting those chargers. Maybe, maybe, you know, give everybody rooms. That will be kind of important to make sure that everybody has a place to sleep to call their own. Power generation, not as important as happiness generation, apparently. Everything is falling apart. I look forward to solving it, maybe.